Welcome to my video, Stephen Cheatley Photography, and this is the first video on this channel. And I'm going to be looking at one of the hard drives that I use to store all my photographs. Now, if you are a photographer, you take lots of pictures. It's very important that you have a reliable hard drive to save all your photographs to. Now, this hard drive is quite special. This is a Western Digital My Book Thunderbolt. It's designed for Apple Macintosh. Okay, so I'm just going to show you around the back what it's like around the back. So as I said, this is for the Apple Macintosh and there are two lightning ports so you can daisy chain these. There's the power lead. Unfortunately, there's no switch. I, I like it when a hard drive has got a switch on it to turn it off, but this one doesn't. That kind of does my head in that. And as you can see, it's got the lightning port there. Now that's the old lightning port because this is about five years old. They have replaced it now. Can you see? They've replaced this with the USB-C. Um, so you can see it's got the old lightning port there. So if, you, if, you, if you're using it on a newer computer, you need to buy an adapter. Uh, so there you go, that's what it's like around the back. And this particular hard drive is a RAID system hard drive. Now RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Discs or Inexpensive Discs. Now what these do is you can set this hard drive up to mirror every photograph you take. If I open the top now, if you look at in here now, can you see? There's actually two hard, two separate hard drives in here. Now you can either set this up to run as a six, ter this is a six terabyte hard drive, which can be set up to run as a six terabyte if you want, or you can set it up to run as RAID 1, which is I've set it up as, and have the one hard drive mirror the other hard drive here. And that so I can be pretty sure that if one of the drives fails and the reason why I've got this drive out now and I'm doing this video now is because I've got a problem with one of these drives. I don't know which one, but one of these drives has got a fan um, making a noise on it. So it looks like I'm going to have to replace it soon. These are both three terabyte drives, which make up the six terabyte. And basically one's covered to the other. And you can be pretty sure that um, if one of them fails, your pictures are safe on the other drive and then you simply get another drive to replace the one that's gone which is which is what i'm going to do now fortunately the drive hasn't gone it's just the uh, the fan that's gone and now i'm going to show you how to open it up and replace one of the drives if one of the drives goes okay so like i said one of these hard drives i don't know which one yet has got a fan a very noisy fan so i think it's about to fail uh, so what we do is we open the lid here and then we have this like grill thing here so i'll unscrew this grill now i'm going to have to test out with one drive in at a time because i'm not sure which drive of the two is has got the problem so i'm going to have to try it out so we take this off this is how you replace a drive so that's off now and what we do then it's very simple we have these things here i will take one of these out Slide the hard drive out, as you can see there. It's a, a three terabyte Western digital hard drive. Um, I think these are 5,400 RPM. It's getting on a bit, this, this hard drive. It's about five years old now, so it's getting on a bit. But uh, So that's how they come out. So that's fairly easy. That's how you replace a hard drive in a RAID array. So there you go, that's my little look at the Western Digital My Book Thunderbolt RAID 6 terabyte hard drive and showing you how you replace one of the hard drives if one of them fails, which is what I'm going to have to do. I hope you like the video and if you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and I'll see you again on another video.